Animal Diversity Law. Today we will discuss on bilateria clades and in this group uh, we will study about uh, uh, platyzoans uh, and uh, a second group we have uh, spiralins uh, in which we include uh, mollusks and uh, annelids. So let's start uh, this uh, clad uh, bilateria. As you know that uh, bilateria clad is characterized by bilateral symmetry. And the, this symmetry is uh, comparatively advanced uh, uh, if we look at uh, uh, radial symmetry that is primitive and uh, present in those animals which are sessile or uh, very slow animals. Bilateral symmetry is advanced and uh, even it is uh, only present, it is uh, present in cardates. Cardates have uh, only one uh, symmetry that is uh, bilateral symmetry. So uh, in this clad uh, we have spirilla. Uh, this group uh, uh, develop embryo uh, from a zygote after spiral cleavage and uh, this type of cleavage uh, after uh, cleavage division cells uh, fate uh, is completely determined and if we separate uh, these cells from each other uh, no one will uh, convert into a mature individuals spirulins and uh, uh, platyzoans uh, and uh, uh, Lophotrochozoans, uh, these are the uh, clads uh, which uh, we have uh, after uh, further division of uh, bilateria, we get these uh, uh, clads. And uh, in this clad, both uh, marine and freshwater uh, um, uh, organisms uh, uh, present. And uh, in case of uh, uh, Lophotrochozoans, uh, we have uh, most prominent uh, a group of uh, platyzoa uh, it means flatworm today we will discuss uh, flatworms in detail and uh, uh, second group uh, lophotrochozoa it consists of uh, two phyla and uh, other uh, several uh, smaller phyla in this uh, uh, clad we have uh, free living uh, uh, larvae that is trochophore Trochophore uh, uh, is a, a free living larvae present uh, in annelids uh, and uh, uh, mollusca. Ecdysozoa, and uh, in next lecture, we will uh, study on various uh, aspects uh, of uh, ecdysozoa. In this uh, uh, bilateria, it consists of uh, two groups, uh, proteostomes uh, and uh, Deuteostomes and uh, among uh, proteostomes, uh, we have uh, Lophotrochozoa, Ecdysozoa, and uh, whereas uh, Deuteostome, these uh, animals uh, are comparatively advanced uh, uh, and uh, include echinoderms and uh, chordates. Platyzoans, uh, as this name is uh, indicating, uh, the animal belonging to this phylum are uh, flatworms, uh, and uh, that's why we name this phylum as uh, uh, platyhelminthes. Platy means flat, helminthes form. So these uh, uh, animals uh, are uh, generally known as uh, flatworms. In case of flatworms, uh, uh, this is uh, one of the, you can say, diverse phylum, including more than 55,000 species. Uh, and uh, these species uh, uh, have a flat body, just like leaf. Uh, it is uh, dorsoventrally a compressed and uh, a flattened body. Uh, flatworms, uh, if we look at their uh, distribution and uh, habitat uh, uh, these uh, flatworms are uh, widely distributed uh, uh, some of them free living uh, both in uh, marine and freshwater ecosystem some of them live in uh, terrestrial habitat a vast majority of uh, uh, platyhelminthes uh, also uh, live as a parasite uh, in the body of uh, animals 
so uh, flat worms as you uh, discussed uh, these are the animals which are soft bodied and also ventrally a compressed animals and they have uh, incomplete digestive system and that is sac like digestive system sac like digestive system is primitive type of uh, digestive system in next phyla you will read about uh, tube like digestive system which is an advanced form of uh, digestive system in this uh, digestive system animals have uh, uh, two openings of uh, digestive system uh, mouth from where food enter and anus uh, from where feces uh, uh, go out from the body so tube li uh, like digestive system is uh, advanced digestive system and uh, uh, you can uh, study such tube like system in case of earthworm any leads and uh, human as uh, platyzoans uh, differ from the any leads and mollusks these flat worms move from uh, one place to another place uh, uh, by means of uh, ciliary movement these cilia are present at uh, uh, their uh, ventral side uh, these cilia will help them to move from one place to and other place they have soft body and uh, soft bodies uh, and uh, there is uh, no uh, well developed uh, musculature and uh, just like um, earthworm have uh, two types of uh, muscles longitudinal muscles uh, and uh, circular muscles uh, in case of flatworm there is uh, no development of uh, advanced musculature like uh, higher animals we have uh, studied their uh, habitat uh, marine fresh water and some of them live in terrestrial habitat uh, uh, most of the platy helminthes are carnivore and uh, some of them are parasitic like uh, uh, liver fluke a uh, tapeworm and uh, other uh, are also uh, sequengers uh, uh, which feed on dead organic matter these uh, platy helminthes uh, have uh, a good excretory system and uh, osmoregulation system uh, excretory system uh, we have uh, some structures uh, which are uh, known as uh, flame cells these flame cells are uh, flickering cells uh, which regulate the salt and uh, uh, water Planarians uh, are the first animal where uh, cephalization, mean head formation, is started. We have uh, uh, this uh, uh, brain like structure uh, which is known as anterior cerebral ganglion, and two nerve cords are uh, descending towards the posterior end and form a ladder. These uh, two nerve cords are uh, connected with e each other uh, and uh, it looks like uh, a ladder. In this uh, diagram, you can observe uh, uh, this is the main uh, intestine, and intestine is divided into further uh, blind ended structures. Uh, these blind ended structures are known as a cica. After a digestion, these uh, undigested food particles uh, will be evacuated uh, from the same uh, pore which is known as uh, the mouth so their uh, digestive system is sac like digestive system and they have a single uh, opening as you know these uh, planary and uh, other uh, flat worms are uh, hermaphrodite uh, ovaries and testes are uh, present within the same individual Cross fertilization is uh, preferred uh, among these organisms because uh, cross fertilization uh, ensures the process uh, of uh, recombination or uh, ma making uh, a new genetic combination as a result of uh, fertilization. We have uh, different uh, classes of uh, uh, flatworms uh, like uh, Turbularia. Uh, this uh, class uh, consists of uh, three living flatworms, uh, the Gusia, uh, which is uh, a common planarian, 
and uh, in this uh, group uh, we have uh, fr a free living uh, freshwater uh, animals like planarian ne uh, next class uh, which is uh, neodermata in this class uh, were parasitic uh, uh, flatworms uh, which are uh, ecto and uh, endoparasites Neodermata, this uh, class is further divided into uh, two subclasses, uh, Trematoda and uh, Siriuso, uh, Merio, uh, Morpha, Tapeworm, and uh, their relative. Nematoderma, the uh, these are the parasitic flatworms and uh, can be divided uh, into two groups uh, like uh, uh, Trematoda. It includes uh, liver fluke and uh, uh, other uh, uh, parasites. Sriso, Miro, Morpha, this includes uh, tapeworms and uh, uh, its relative. These are the flatworms uh, which are the first animals uh, which have uh, a flat body and uh, in their body we can observe that uh, there is no coelom and uh, uh, their body is compactly composed with the cells that's why we call them uh, acylomate and uh, uh, there is uh, no proper uh, respiratory system and uh, because their uh, flat body ensure the process of uh, respirations by means of diffusion this is the oriental uh, liver fluke and uh, this oriental liver fluke is a flatworm living uh, within the bile duct of uh, uh, man uh, apart from man there are several other mammal hosts for uh, uh, this parasite uh, like uh, cats dogs and pig uh, when this adult become this liver fluke become adult uh, it uh, produce eggs and these uh, uh, eggs contain miracidium larvae these miracidium larvae containing eggs uh, will drain out from the body uh, along with feces uh, and ultimately these miracidium larvae uh, will reach to the snail is the sec uh, primary host uh, for uh, miracidium larvae in the body of uh, snail these miracidium larvae convert into sporocyst. It will produce uh, several types of larvae, which ultimately reach to the fish. These metacercaria live in the gut of uh, fish, and from fish, uh, such metacercaria larvae are uh, uh, consumed by human. And uh, whenever we eat. Uh, any infected uh, fish uh, and uh, that fish is uh, partially cooked uh, or uh, uh, then um, there will be uh, chances uh, for the infection of uh, liver flow. Next is uh, a tapeworm, Kenya solium. Uh, you can observe the solex of uh, this uh, flatworm. Uh, this uh, solex produce continuously different uh, Proglottists, uh, these are the segments of uh, uh, flatworms which are uh, continuously produced. After, after uh, when these proglottists uh, become mature and uh, they will uh, shed off uh, from the uh, uh, body. Uh, after uh, uh, platyzoans, uh, we are uh, moving towards the next group, uh, Lophotrochozoans. As its name is uh, indicated, uh, this uh, a group uh, consists of those animals uh, uh, which have uh, lophophore or trochophore larvae. In this uh, phylum, we have uh, uh, two representative phylum, one of them phylum mollusca. Next, we, we will discuss about uh, phylum anilida. There are uh, several other minor phyla which are also included uh, in this uh, uh, lophotrochozoans, uh, uh, bryozoans uh, are also uh, 
animals which are also included in this group. So, uh, next phylum is uh, phylum mollusca and uh, phylum mollusca uh, have wide variety of uh, animals uh, uh, and uh, their uh, animals uh, uh, varies uh, from microscopic to the huge bodied uh, mollusks and uh, even some uh, mollusks can attain 15 meter long body and uh, 250 kg weight. So this phylum is uh, a diverse phylum and uh, uh, most of the animal belonging to this phylum are uh, distributed uh, uh, in marine environment. Uh, however, some snails, slugs and uh, bivalves uh, also invaded uh, in freshwater lakes, rivers and uh, streams. Most of the mollusks are uh, uh, free living, but there are some mollusks uh, which are uh, act as a pest, uh, destroy the human shapes and uh, human vegetation, and also uh, affect, uh, disturb the ecology of natural streams. Worm, this worm destroy and uh, damage the uh, shapes. Next is garden snail and destroy the young one in plants as a result of this we get less production of crop. Zebra mussels recently in United States these mussels invaded in freshwater streams and rivers and causing a great damage to the natural ecosystem. If we look at the mollusks are bilateral symmetrical uh, animals. These uh, bisymmetrical animals uh, also modified uh, uh, during their development uh, and uh, these animals uh, undergo the process of torsion. Torsion means uh, coiling. You know uh, there are uh, several types of uh, gastropods uh, which have uh, coiled body and uh, that coiling uh, of their body organs uh, come as a result of uh, torsions. The difference between flatworm and these mollusks uh, is that mollusks have a uh, muscular foot which uh, uh, flatworms don't have. That muscular foot is used for the locomotion, for the attachment, uh, for food cap, for digging uh, and uh, it perform variety of functions uh, within different uh, animals of mollusca. In case of uh, sphalopods, uh, foot is divided into tentacles, uh, and uh, whereas uh, in other varieties uh, of uh, uh, sphalopods, uh, these uh, uh, foot also convert into arms. So, uh, squid, uh, other sphalopods uh, have uh, uh, tentacles and arm like structures. The outermost covering of mollusk is uh, exoskeleton. This exoskeleton is made up of uh, uh, calcium carbonate, and uh, due to heavy uh, skeleton, these mollusks uh, have been handicapped. That's why mollusks having uh, exoskeleton are mostly slow moving or uh, sluggish. Inside the body, outermost covering is uh, uh, mantle and uh, this is a thick epidermis uh, and uh, it covers the dorsal side uh, and secrete calcium carbonate cell. This uh, mantle cavity basically meant for the secretion of uh, exoskeleton and uh, in case of uh, different uh, bivalves, uh, we can estimate the age of uh, uh, bivalve uh, on the basis of uh, a ring. A in every growing season, a new ring will be added uh, and uh, you can uh, study the age of uh, mollusca after counting uh, such rings-like structure on their uh, body. These are uh, uh, silomate and uh, silomate uh, uh, animals have uh, 
body cavity. In most of the mollusks, body cavity is uh, highly reduced. And uh, this uh, silom is only present uh, around the visceral organs uh, uh, like heart and excretory uh, system. They have a digestive system, tube-like digestive system. These animals, uh, digestive system, excretory, reproductive organs are uh, concentrated uh, in a visceral mass. यहाँ पे ये सारा visceral mass है और इसके अंदर जो है respiratory system और reproductive system, digestive system ये सारा जो है यहाँ पे मौजूद होता है. Some of uh, mollusks have uh, uh, radula. This uh, tank of uh, uh, mollusks have uh, sharp teeth structure. These uh, uh, teeth-like structures uh, help to cut the plant leaves uh, mm -hmm. and uh, other organisms' body, which is uh, used for the food. So uh, this uh, radula is uh, also specialized structure, which is uh, present in case of uh, uh, mollusks. Mollusks uh, have uh, separate uh, sexes. Uh, however, in case of uh, some uh, terrestrial gastropods. Uh, they are uh, hermaphrodite. It means both sexes are present in, in the same individuals. Their embryo is a free-swimming trochophore larvae. So they have uh, a free-swimming uh, trochophore larvae and uh, on the basis of uh, the presence of uh, uh, trochophore larvae, these animals are regarded as lophotropho. We can divide uh, mollusks into eight classes. Uh, first is uh, polyplacophora. It contains chitons. This is uh, the example of a chiton, and uh, chiton is present uh, inside the marine ecosystem. Second, gastropoda. It consists of uh, limpets, snails, slugs. Third class is uh, bivalvia. Calm, oysters, uh, uh, and uh, scalps, uh, and their relatives are uh, present uh, in this. Uh, those animals uh, which have uh, limited uh, exoskeleton. Example of uh, this uh, class: phallopoda, squids, octopus, cuttlefish, and uh, other uh, chambered uh, nautilus. The example of uh, common octopus, uh, nautilus, uh, and banana slug in this uh, phylum, Anilida. This is uh, also a phylum which contains segmented uh, animals. Anilida means annulus, those animal, animals which have uh, ring-like structure on their uh, body. And uh, in such animals uh, like annelids, uh, body is uh, divided into repeated uh, segments. Every segment uh, have uh, uh, almost a repetition of uh, organ system. Uh, that's why the repetition of organ system in every section is known as uh, metamerism. Annelids uh, body is, uh, as you know, uh, composed of uh, string-like segments uh, and uh, these ring-like segments are uh, also uh, internally present in case of uh, these animals. So uh, we have uh, studied that uh, and other advancement in case of annelids. Uh, these animals are uh, metamerically segmented animals. Uh, metameric segmentation is that type of segmentation in which uh, in which uh, organ system is repeated uh, in every so each segment or chamber is divided by other chamber by means of uh, septa each uh, segment uh, uh, have a uh, independent excretory system and uh, ganglion and locomotory system and reproductive system locomotory uh, organs like parapodia, city, these are uh, present uh, on the lateral side uh, of uh, uh, organism. These are, uh, you can say, 
coelomate, bilateral symmetrical uh, organism, and have uh, well developed coelom. Coelom contain uh, a fluid which is uh, uh, act as uh, you can say a hydrostatic skeleton, and it also help the animal uh, to move from one place to an other place. Just like mollusks, uh, this uh, phylum also have uh, uh, muscular structures, longitudinal and circular muscles, uh, which uh, facilitate these animals to move uh, ahead uh, in their habitat. Their digestive system, you know, tube-like, advanced type of digestive system and uh, their uh, uh, body siloam is filled by hydrostatic uh, uh, fluid and that uh, fluid uh, act as hydrostatic skeletons. Annelids uh, uh, have uh, well developed uh, low circulatory system. These are the animals uh, uh, which have uh, well developed closed circulatory system in their body and uh, exchange of uh, uh, gases uh, occur at the time of uh, uh, you can say annelids uh, have uh, some you can say uh, best circulatory system that is uh, closed circulatory system and their respiration uh, occur through uh, by means of uh, uh, gills in aquatic organism and uh, cutaneous respiration in case of uh, earthworm. During rainy day, when soil completely saturated, uh, earthworms come out from their burrows uh, uh, to get uh, oxygen. You have observed during rainy days, uh, often earthworms come out from their burrows uh, for uh, oxygenation. There is an excretory system, and uh, their excretory system unit uh, is uh, uh, nephridia, and uh, this uh, nephridia is. Uh, uh, of uh, proto-nephridian type uh, and uh, it has a funnel-like structure uh, which uh, collect uh, uh, different uh, waste product uh, from the uh, each segment of earthworm's body. Here we have uh, anterior body structure of uh, an earthworm, mouth, pharynx, esophagus. Uh, these are the heart and uh, Further, uh, uh, this is the nerve cord uh, and uh, dorsal and uh, ventral blood vessels, uh, ventral blood vessels, dorsal blood vessels, and there are nephridia. And uh, uh, most of the uh, systems uh, are present uh, uh, in earthworm. That's why uh, we often. Uh, dissect earthworm for the study of digestive system, nervous system, and uh, reproductive system. Annelids uh, have roughly more than 32,000 species, uh, and uh, polychaetes, uh, which are uh, normally uh, marine animals. Uh, this is the uh, picture of Nereis, and uh, you can study these structures. Uh, uh, locomotory structures uh, in case of polychaetes uh, as parapodia. These structures are known as parapodia. Next class uh, is uh, oligochaeta. We include uh, earthworms uh, uh, in oligochaeta, and uh, these earthworms, uh, you know very well, uh, act as natural flow in our uh, agro ecosystem. Class is uh, Hyrodinia. Uh, th this uh, class includes uh, leech, uh, leeches, uh, and uh, all these uh, leeches are uh, ectoparasite and uh, they don't have uh, 
locomotory organ like parapodia and CT gliding movement in water. Sir, uh, where I searched it, sir, it was uh, different from uh, the classification of it. Sir, what I got from it, it was from the ancestors. There were two classes. One is Parazoa and one is Metazoa. The Metazoa has two types of Bilatera and Radiata. और बाइलेट्रा के आगे से थ्री टाइप्स थी जिसमें सिलोमेट्स कोइलोमेट्स और सुडोसिलोमेट्स आते थे उसके बाद प्रोटोसोम्स और ड्यूटियोसोम्स आता है लेकिन जो सर आपकी स्लाइड्स थी उसमें बाइलेट्रल से ऊपर आ रहा था प्रोटोसोम्स एंड ड्यूटियोसोम्स जी आ, ये सर थोड़ी सी कॉम्प्लिकेशन थी जहां पे स्टडी किया है और बुक्स में ऐसा भी मिलता है लेकिन ये जो मैं आपको क्लासिफिकेशन इधर टीच कर रहा हूं लेटेस्ट है और जो लेटेस्ट यूएस कनाडा और ब्रिटेन की यूनिवर्सिटी इसमें ये बुक्स पढ़ाई जाती हैं ये अगर आप स्क्रीन के ऊपर देखें तो ये इनके रेफरेंसेस 2014 के 16 और ये लेट क्लासिफिकेशन है और क्लासिफिकेशन के बारे में एक बात बता दूं इसमें जो जो साइंस से हमें मजीद क्लूज मिलते हैं तो उस क्लासिफिकेशन को हम क्या करते हैं उसको इंप्रूव करते रहते हैं इवन मुख्तलिफ फाइला के बारे में अकाइनोडर्म्स को बास पुराने ऑथर्स ऐसे भी थे वो सिलेंट्रेटा के साथ क्लोज रखते हैं लेकिन बाद में उनकी जो क्रैक्टिस्टिक्स डिस्कवर किए गए उनके लार्वी को स्टडी किया गया तो फिर उससे पता चला कि ये अकाइनोडर्म सिलेंट्रेट्स के करीब नहीं है ये कॉल्ड्स के करीब है तो ये नेक्स्ट क्लास में मैं जब शुरू करूंगा तो ये ट्री दोबारा एक दफा एक्सप्लेन कर देता हूं ताकि अगर कोई इसमें आपको कंफ्यूजन हो तो वो दूर हो जाए जी मरियम सर मुझे वो जो आपने एनालिडा के हार्ट वाला स्ट्रक्चर बताया वो एक बार दोबारा बता दें सर एनालिडा के हार्ट वाला जो आपने स्ट्रक्चर बताया वो दोबारा बता दें एक बार अच्छा एनालिड्स के केस में ये येलो कलर का आप देखें ये इनका नर्वस सिस्टम है यहां पे इसका ब्रेन है तो इसके साथ ही यहां पे एक वेंट्रल ब्लड वेसल है और ये वाली ब्लड वेसल्स क्या है डॉर्सल ब्लड वेसल्स both blood vessels are connected by means of heart. This may we see that uh, five to six pair of hearts, which are on both sides, they pump both hearts blood and their closed circulatory system. 